Good morning, this is Jason Sen from daytradeideas.com. It's the 6th of November. We're looking at a daily chart of gold. Um, as you can see, uh, we had a bit of a sell-off uh, at the start of the autumn, the end of the summer through September and October. We managed a little bounce. Um, technically, this is working quite well. We managed a bounce of 61.8% uh, Fibonacci retracement, which was at 1364. We stopped a little bit short of that. We we didn't quite make it to 1362, but uh, therefore this this uh, resistance did hold. Uh, you can see a trend line coming in. Uh, that's actually quite quite a long term trend line. If I just scrunch things up, you can see that goes all the way back to uh, the spring uh, around March April. So um, there was quite solid resistance there, as you can see. And needless to say, we've sold off. So what happens next? Well, we're we're hovering below the 100 day moving average this week. That comes in at around 13, 20, 13, 21. So that's been working quite well as resistance. We are getting a little bit oversold in daily charts. We've just got to keep that in the back of our minds. But um, at the moment, there is still probably some room for some downside action. Just see on the daily chart there, we've got some FIB support at 12.95, 12.94 area. Um, we're looking at the shorter term chart here now, the four hour chart. Just uh, to see a little bit closer in what might happen as we head towards the end of the week. Um, you can see we're holding quite nice in between the two FIB uh, resistance and support levels here. 13, 19, 13, 21, that, that coincides with what we have on the daily chart. We've got some support down at 1306. We haven't managed to get below there this week, so that's holding up quite well. So just watch those two levels. Um, these, these are the, this is the area to watch and perhaps trade these areas, the 1306 up to 13, 19, 20 area, uh, and then watch for a break. I think if we're going to break, we could break lower. I think there's a risk we, tra we trade down to 12.94, 12.93, but that's good support. And a low for the week there, I think, is um, a realistic possibility. So perhaps trying longs down, long down, longs down there won't be a bad idea uh, with a stop somewhere below 12.89, perhaps. It's fairly low risk. If that trade works and then we manage to recover, we should at least see 13.06 and maybe even get back up to 13.19.20. Uh, if, however, the 1306 support level holds and we manage to then push through 1321, 1322, um, we'll, we'll probably test these little highs up here, which is 1327. So there's another five or six point uh, run to the top side. We could even stretch as high as 1335. You can see that, you know, there's some highs and lows around this area. There's a bit of congestion. So that ties in quite nicely with this 1335 uh, Fibonacci resistance. And I'd suggest that maybe this this could hold certainly the top side today if we were to see it. And even later on in the week, if we were to break higher, maybe that will hold. So just watch that level, but keep stops tight, probably somewhere above, well, cert cert certainly above 1340 would be a good stop. Uh, on any shorts around the 1335 level. Okay, that's it for gold for today. Thanks very much. I'm Jason Sen from daytradeideas.com.